there we go guys it's official we have got the dutch the dutch national team head coach the new manager of manchester united louis van Gaal. it's official yes he coaches holland at the minutes and going to the world cup and we'll get to that in a second. But yes, it's official, guys. Louis Van Gaal, head coach, the new manager on a three-year deal. Finally, it's official. We all knew this about three weeks ago, guys. And it's really been dragging on. But, you know, with the World Cup coming on and uh, Louis Van Gaal, the uh, manager of Holland, it's been difficult. But now it's official. We can move on. And apparently, guys, rumors going around that he's given Ed Woodward the transfer list that the players that he wants already at Manchester United. So hopefully deals can get done. But in saying this, guys, uh, new um, assistant coaches all around. Big clear out. Uh, Ryan Giggs has retired, which is such a shame. We're really, really gutted about that. But what do you do? He's uh, the assistant coach now under Louis Van Gaal, which I'm so wrapped about. To be honest, guys, I'm more wrapped about Ryan Giggs getting the assistant coach role than Louis, uh, than Louis Gaal getting the head coach. I'm so wrapped about this because he can learn. Yes, he's learned under Fergie, the good times. Yes, he's learned under uh, David Moyes, the bad times. Now he's got Louis van Gaal, you know, different experience. So this is really good for Ryan Giggs, in my opinion. So, uh, yes, I'm wrapped about this. We've got a new goalkeeping coach and we've got more assistants, uh, some more Dutch coaches under Louis van Gaal, his mates, pretty much. So, yeah, so wrapped about that. Um, uh, new captain, guys, Louis van Gaal. Obviously, his Dutch, Robin Van Persie, they're like this, these two. So, it's common sense that probably Ryan, um, Van Persie is going to get the uh, captain's role. In saying that, uh, Wayne Rooney, uh, he was the favourite for so long. And some play, uh, some people saying that Rooney should be captain just because he's been at United longer. But let's face it, guys. Van Persie, he's been captain for Arsenal for a few years. He was captain, or he is captain, of the Dutch uh, Dutch national team. So, he's got leadership skills. And to be honest, guys, you know, Van Persie, our captain, I'll be more than happy about that. Even Rooney, too. It's a win-win situation, in my opinion. Um, now, Louis van Gaal, let's talk about him for a second. Yes, he's at the uh, World Cup, so it's such a shame. And to be honest, guys, I, I like the Netherlands. I want them to do well. But because our new man is the Holland coach, I want them to get knocked out straight away. I want them to lose in straight sets. And so Louis Van Gaal can come back to United straight away and work on the transfers. The quicker he comes to Old Trafford, the better for us, guys. So hopefully they get a lo they lose, 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 and they come home. I know it's a little harsh, you know, but... At the end of the day, guys, he is Manchester United's manager, so I couldn't care less about Holland. But, you know, if he wasn't, you know, if it wasn't United's manager, I'd want them to do well. But what do you do? Hurry up and get knocked out, Van Gaal. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, this guy, now, uh, yes, he does have success wherever he goes, Louis Van Gaal. Uh, you look at Ajax, uh, I'm reading here off the uh, Wikipedia page, you can go have a look at it. He's won the Champions League, the Super Cup, UEFA cup uh you know he's won the league three times there at barcelona he's won the liga twice there the copa del rey uefa super cup there by munich he's won the league there and he's won the super cup there as well so wherever he goes guys he's a big manager you know he brings success now in my opinion guys uh, yeah, let's get to my opinion. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a video about Louis van Gaal and how I didn't want him to be United's manager. And I will go on record, guys. I will go on record and saying I still stand by that. I still reckon we should have broke the bank and got Klopp. Klopp is the man, in my opinion. But what I'm seeing here, I'm getting excited about. Now, I'll tell you why. Because I've done a little bit of research about Louis van Gaal. Now, you guys might be interested in knowing this as well. Now, the teams that Louis van Gaal uh, manages, yes, he does bring success while he is there. But the team gets bigger success after he leaves. So, van Gaal builds a team, builds a dynasty for the next manager. And when he leaves, that team has a real big success. And it ha it's happened at every single club that he's been with. It's happened at Ajax. It's happened at Barcelona. It's happened at Bayern Munich. Look, Bayern Munich, 2009-2010. You know, they won the league there while he was there under that year. But you look at him now, the teams, the players that they brought, Tony Cruz, you know, Schweinsteiger, all these types of players. The team 
that he's built. Look, half that team there is what the team is now, Bayern Munich. An unbelievable squad, you know, especially when they won the Champions League last season. But that's what I'm more excited about. I'm more excited about he's going to come into United, build a team, build, a, you know, a dynasty. You know, he uses youth, guys. He loves to bring in the youth, you know. So I'm excited for the players, Yanazai, Zaha, Nicky, Powell, you know, Wilson, Lawrence, you know, all these types of players. You know, I'm so wrapped. Louis Van Gaal is going to get his hands on these kids and he's just going to, well, I was going to say he's going to get more excited than Michael Jackson, but hopefully that doesn't happen. But hopefully he builds a team, guys. So the time he does leave after three years, you know, whoever takes over, whether it's Giggsy, maybe Giggsy's not ready for United. Maybe that's when Klopp comes in after two or three years, you know. That's when our real success is going to happen. So that's what I'm really excited about under Louis Van Gaal. Yes, I would love success straight away, but we've got to be realistic, guys. Our squad isn't the best. Uh, with Giggsy gone, you know, Vidic gone, Ferdinand gone, maybe Ever gone, you know, the average age of United has just dropped dramatically, you know, so I'm, I'm excited about the good times, guys. Uh, Louis Van Gaal, the expectations for the three years. What are we expecting about Van Gaal for the next three years? Well, immediately, guys, immediately. Next season, top four. Got to be top four next season. If, we don't, if he doesn't bring in top four, it's definitely a fail. In uh, not just my opinion, I'm just saying it in everyone's opinion. If we don't get top four next season, it's deemed a fail. And the time he leaves United in three years or even two years, he has to build the team, guys, that needs to be challenging for the title and even European football as well. So that is, that's the prerequisites for... Prerequisites? <laughs> That is the pre sequit for Louis Van Gaal. What is to be expected at United? The time he leaves, going to be challenging for the title and challenging for European football, making semi-finals of the Champions League, stuff like that. But anyways, guys, that is my two cents about Louis Van Gaal coming in. Let the good times roll. At the end of the day, this is just my two cents. If you happen to give a fuck, take care and peace. Come on, Louie!